আসসালামু আলাইকুম আই হ্যাভ শোন দি হাউ টু রিপেয়ার এলইডি বাল্ব এন্ড এলইডি টিউব লাইট ইন মাই प्रीवियस वीडियोस আই ফাউন্ড এন ওল্ড ফ্যান রেগুলেটর আই ডিসাইড টু মেক ওয়ান ভিডিও হাউ টু রিপেয়ার দিস কাইন্ড অফ ফ্যান রেগুলেটরস if you look at this uh, fan regulator it has uh, provided with two notch in order to open this just uh, press uh, push this part this manner it will get loose and this do the same thing to this uh, part as well you can see how easily it comes off so open it this way let's see what is inside okay it has come off i'll keep it aside now here If you look at this carefully, you will find uh, there are three capacitors are present here. These are non-polar capacitors. Out of uh, three, two has got uh, damaged. Two capacitors have got uh, damaged. Uh, one has uh, broken completely. I'll keep it uh, one side. now i am going to replace this faulty part with a new one so that first i will remove these things i desolder with the hot soldering iron this part has come off i am going to do the same thing I hold this part with the yes, see it is uh, damaged. Then I will remove this one as well. We we'll place uh, the hot solder in here. When the metal melts, it comes off very easily. The same thing I will do this uh, side as well. Okay, it has come off. Now, uh, let me check the value of this capacitor. Here, two twenty-five is mentioned here, and uh, this uh, capacitor reads three thirty-five. Now, let me tell you what uh, these things mean. now i'll show you what uh, these uh, numbers in capacitor mean here i told you letter 225 is mentioned in the damaged capacitor it 225 represents 2.2 microfarad in a similar way in the second uh, capacitor 335 is mentioned 335 means uh, 3.3 microfarad capacitor uh in future i'll make a detailed video on uh, this topic now i'll replace uh, the old parts with a new one now now before doing so i'll apply the soldering paste the terminals of the capacitor then i place them here I insert them in the holes. Then I solder them. So one end has got a soldered. I do the same thing to another end as well. Uh, this end has a, has got a soldered as well okay okay now i will solder this uh, capacitor i'm placing them here you see apply the soldering flux 
to both the terminals. One end has got uh, soldered. Now I'm going to solder this end. It has got uh, slightly damaged. Uh, let's, uh, let's do it. Now it is done. Uh, as you can see, the two capacitors have got uh, properly soldered. Uh, now I replaced uh, the old parts with the new one. Now I am going to close uh, this uh, speed regulator. See, pass uh, these two wires through the holes provided in the cabinet. Then in this manner, slowly push them such that they sit in their respective place in this manner. Do it gently such that it should not damage the latch. Now I'll check whether this uh, fan regulator has got ready or not. For that, I will connect this uh, regulator in series with the, a bulb. To do so, first I will remove this wire from the socket. Then I will connect it this to one uh, terminal of uh, the regulator this way. Then I will cover this with the insulation tape. After that, I will connect the second terminal. As you can see, the first terminal of uh, the regulator is connected to this end and another con is connected to the bulb socket. Now the bulb is in series with the, the regulator. Now I will connect uh, this uh, to the power supply. I switch on. When it turned on, it doesn't glow because it is kept in off condition. Now I'll move it to five. See, it glows bright. Now slowly in degrees. In four, the brightness has reduced. In three, it has reduced to some more extent. In two, it has got dim. This shows that the regulator has got ready. As I increase the brightness changes. I hope uh, the video is useful. If you have any kind of doubt related to the topic, kindly put your questions in the comment section. Thanks for watching.